Hey everyone. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about using ABS material with the Bamboo Lab A1 uh, printer, 3D printer. So I've been using the Bamboo Lab A1 for about two months now. Um, and recently I got into printing ABS. Um, this is for my cereal dispenser top project. Essentially, I got a cereal dispenser online that didn't have a top, and it led me down this total rabbit hole of trying to find a right top, and then eventually getting to the point where I am now, where I'm modifying the STL files, and learning a lot of neat tools inside of the Bamboo Lab Slicer. Um, I'll do the, and I'll talk about that journey in a separate video, but for right now, um, I want to talk about ABS. So ABS, if you're unfamiliar, it's a different type of material than PLA. Um, it uses, a, it has a higher melting point, so, or temperature range that's acceptable to print. Um, and as you can see, um, it works fine with the AMS system. Now there are a few nuances to let me pause this for just a moment for sound. There is a nuance to the AMS, I'm sorry, not AMS, but ABS filament. And one issue that you might have is the standard textured PEI plate tends to not work very well with ABS. So this was on my first or second run with the ABS material. And you can see that it's really deep in there. Um, someone may try to recommend, um, you know, leveling, etc., cetera, et cetera. Um, fiddling around with the slicer settings and that might help. But from what I've seen, um, when printing on this plate, it just ends up not working because of the textured material. Um, doesn't create a nice solid surface for it to begin on. ABS is notorious for peeling back. Um, and here's what I mean by that. So essentially, I switched to a different material. And in that material, um, switch to a different plate, and this is the plate you see right here. Um, has a nice smooth finish with the texture. Um, but what you can see here is I did not apply any glue. I'm used to using this textured PEI plate without needing to use any glue. It's been one of the benefits with uh, using PLA, but when you're using ABS, you're definitely gonna need glue or you're gonna get some bending, as you can see. Excuse the dogs. Um, since I'm printing an ABS also, I have my window open um, to help with ventilation. Um, proper ventilation is important. I believe if you have it, you should get an enclosure if you're trying to attempt to print with ABS. That's the ideal setting. Um, otherwise, as much ventilation as possible um, when printing with ABS because, you know, it does emit some toxins. Um, the other thing to notice this, so as you can see, there's warping here, and that's simply because there was no glue and it wasn't evenly distributed. So where you, so this example provides a perfect, um, perfect uh, demonstration here. So I don't know if you can see that. You can see the smooth application of the ABS filament, and this is, where I had the glue set before. So I had the glue set in the center initially. And then when, once I got my um, cereal tops to the right uh, build or design, I printed out multiple copies. So the layout extended as you're seeing right there, but I did not have enough glue. And that's where I ran into this issue with this print. So as you can see, the quality of the print just degrades as it warps up and the layers are not able to be even. Um, the serial top wouldn't even fit correctly. 
So that's the importance and the caution when using ABS. You definitely want to use glue. Skip using the standard textured PEI plate, absolutely. Um, maybe you can try some of their other plates, like the cryo plate or something, I'm not certain. But I know that this plate worked well for me, just a smooth surface um, worked very well. So other than that, any other concerns with ABS? Um, since it has a higher uh, temperature to melt, if you're switching between PLA and ABS, that can be somewhat of a pain to manage, um, especially when you're first starting it up and, you're, and you do that initial switch. Um, so you may want to manually go into the settings here and purge and load and unload, etc. Um, anything else that I can think of? Um, I'd say with ABS, um, it does give a very nice finish quality to the build. So I do prefer it for like a finished kind of build over PLA, just for the sheen and the quality. Um, when I've worked it in, with it in the past, for instance, on a cosplay sword, um, I noticed that it, it's very sleek and smooth. So if it's something that you want to grip, if you want that sort of attribute to it, that sleekness, ABS is great for that. Um, PLA is a little bit more rigid. The lines are a bit finer, and that may be due to the melting point as well. But it's a great um, attribute to distinguish. All right, um, one thing to note uh, on a separate note, um, I did try to use TPU with the Bamboo Lab A1. I have some over here, flexible TPU. Let me see if I can show it, give me just a moment. So I bought some flexible TPU online and this has a um, melting point between 190 and 230. Now, to my dismay, uh, generic TPU that you buy online that's flexible has not worked for me, at least with the AMS. And I have seen some things about that online, as well as in the Slicer itself. Um, I noted that Bamboo has a Bamboo TPU filament, and then they separately have a Bamboo TPU for AMS system. And when I went through their website, I noticed that the normal TPU says that it is not compatible with the AMS or the AMS Lite. So that is something to be aware of if you're trying to make some sort of flexible TPU or flexible print. Um, it's not compatible unless you're using most likely their brand or something with a similar composition, at least for the AMS light. Um, you can still use a direct spool uh, like this, for instance. You could still hook up a singular spool, and I, I think that would probably work. Um, what I've seen, for instance, when I tried to just use TPU normally, I ended up with, the, with a similar issue to this, to where it was very grainy. And to get ahead of the comments, um, I did swap out the hot end uh, a few times just to make sure it wasn't, you know, user error. Um, I get similar results. So that's been my experience with flexible TPU and ABS, noting that these are generic and freshly out the package. Um, so yes, that's been my experience with those two materials on the Bamboo Lab A1. Would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what your experience has been with different filaments. Leave your comments below. Um, when it does get stuck like this, I just tend to use my uh, plastic razor to scrape it off from my 3D bag over there. And it does work. It's just a pain to get off. But other than that, works right. Uh, other than that, PLA works like a dream. Um, and PLA wood also works too. Um, 
with the PLA wood, you have to have a higher nozzle, I believe. I still use 0 0.4, and that tends to clog sometimes. So definitely recommend a higher nozzle size. All right, if you like that, please comment below, subscribe, and love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.